Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Madad ya Sayyidi ya Sultan al Awliya, Ma Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Ad al Haqqani, Madad ya Sayyidi ya Mawlana Shaykh Hisham al Qurbani, Unzul Halana wa Ishfalana wa Abidina bi Madakum wa Nazarakum. InshaAllah, sharing always from myself, from Mawlana Shaykh's teachings and the way that we have been brought up and share for ourselves if anyone takes any benefit on this way of realities in the way of Islam, Iman wal Ihsan. Uh, alhamdulillah that we get many different notifications from people and they've sent out emails and this goes with faith. They sent out emails that uh, high-ranking French government officials and US government officials they put out a press conference and they warned that 500 days until catastrophic weather conditions, weather events. That would put it from the time that they made that announcement that would put us at September 23rd, 2015. That is uh, the Day of Atonement for our cousins, it's an important day for them and uh, Yawmul Arafah for Muslims. Now why they came out with that date, why they came out with those numbers is not for us. But when spiritual shaykhs, spiritual teachers they constantly warn that from the oceans of Iman, Iman is an action, is a result of actions. You take certain actions they verify and validate your Iman. So people can't just say, I have Iman, you know, but the, the, what were the actions? One important action is to always live a life of preparedness. That we believe this dunya is ending. Everything by its nature has a beginning and has an end. And you live a life with the understanding that this dunya is ending. That the days of difficulty are everywhere and not to worry about uh, saying it's 500 years away because Prophet was teaching companions it's tomorrow. That anything that Prophet spoke to the holy companions they had such a yaqeen, a certainty in their heart that they saw it. When Prophet mentioned Qiyamah and the signs of the last days they saw, they were not blind hearted, they were not closed hearted souls. They saw it, they believed for them as if tomorrow something was going to happen. And you live your life, Ahlul Iman they should live, we live our lives with that understanding. That you pray all night as if tomorrow is going to end and you work hard all day as if it's going to go forever. So you continuously have to work means you fill your day. You have to work, you have to struggle as if this life is going forever because you have to feed yourself, you have to pay your bills. But at night Imam Ali salam confirmed also is at night you have a yaqeen and a certainty that it's going to end. This world is going to end and for all we know my own world can end is enough. Not everybody has to go, it's enough that in the morning I don't wake up, ma qiyama came, I've gone. Nobody knows if they're going to die in their bed. We don't know under what condition Allah has written. But when the dunya constantly worrying and warning, so people can Google. What is September 23rd? What is 2015? Why 500 days? Why did they give a 500 day warning? It doesn't matter but you can Google it, I recommend you Google. What happens? But for Ahlul Iman another confirmation that you cannot say when difficulty came, Ya Rabbi why you didn't help me? How come you didn't help me? And they give the example, 
where the man is, is, is on a roof and the flood is coming and the person comes to help him on the roof that the water is at halfway, come, come, come into our boat, get in the boat I take you away, say, no, no, no I trust in God. Okay, the rain comes almost to the top of the house, another boat comes, get into our boat, let's go. Say, no, 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 I trust in God, all the way to the water took the man and he left. And when he went to heaven he was upset, oh my Lord I had so much faith in you and why you didn't help me? Mm-hmm. Ding, you know the commercial for V8, dish, I sent three, <laughs> I sent three to help you. Means these are the, the rahmah and the teaching of Prophet that the alamat and the signs when you see azab everywhere, when you see azab and no more humanity on people, people play videos of horrific tortures of other people and they want to share it with you. If you watch azab, the azab will dress you because that's not a good event. That's why when Sayyidina Lut was running, what they warned him, don't look back because azab is now coming on to that town, don't look back. But his wife didn't have the yaqeen that he had, she looked back immediately the azab dressed her and turned her to stone because these are very horrific events. There's a tremendous amount of difficulty coming upon people sadness, sorrow and affliction and you're watching it like it's a spectator sport and go down and and eat a sandwich while somebody is torturing somebody and they play all over Facebook, all over the internet, means no more humanity. Prophet warned, when you see that be scared, be prepared. Then other sign look to dunya, when the dunya says, I don't want these people anymore. Because the dunya is showing us, oh I, I, I want to drown them. <coughs> so you see the flooding everywhere. Have you seen the waters and the flash floods that are coming everywhere? Then the zelzala and the earthquake all complaining, I don't want them on me Ya Rabbi, I'm going to shake and bury them into the ground and the earth rain upon them and the oceans flood them means is this a sign of azab everywhere, that no more humanity and tremendous difficulty. And if these azabs are coming and these people are warning then the Ahlul Iman they should always live a life of preparedness. Means that you have food in your home, have oil in your home, have batteries in your home, have blanket in your home, have shoes by the door they say when an earthquake comes most people have horrible foot injuries because as they're running through the glass their feet are all damaged because they didn't prepare, live like a fireman. Put your shoes at the door, a bag that you can run with a towel, with some underwear, with some butter, some uh, peanut nut butter because you can't eat butter, peanut butter, (laughs) some crackers, some batteries. And the government has emergency websites on what you should put in a special bag for an emergency. And that is Ahlul Iman because you're believing that difficulty is coming, difficulty is everywhere and Allah then begin to it quantify. Yes you have faith because you truly believe in these realities, you believe in what Prophet taught. All of these things are happening and all of these different and bizarre things are happening in dunya and some say that they're opening something in Switzerland, they're going to create a tremendous energy field and through that energy field many different things may be coming in and out. Means unimaginable events may be coming on to dunya and for us again a deep reality is that we have taught many times from Mawlana Shaykh's teaching, there's a reality of barzakh. Barzakh means there's a reality of yourself that exists in a different dimension. And there's a reality of your physicality on this earth. Based on what Allah has written for that reality, it's going to influence your physicality. When the 
distance of barzakh was very far. The reality that exists in barzakh whether you were nurani or narani, whether it was written for you to be enlightened and filled with light or from the depths of fire, that reality is trying to dress the physicality. If the reality is bad, constantly whispering, constantly sending its nazar, constantly trying to affect the physicality like a magnet trying to attract it towards its reality and its ultimate goal – negativity. If the reality is rohani then the constant rohani dress of your barzakh reality is trying to influence your physicality. That's why thumma ammanu thumma kafaru. One day I believe, one day I don't believe, one day I believe, one day I don't believe because it's trying to take the signal of barzakh. So when this dimension was very far, the signal was very difficult to receive. As you come closer towards where Prophet prophesies of last days and this is the way of faith is that you have to believe these are the last days so that you can reach the maqam al-iman. Because if you truly believe these are the last days you step more into the reality of akhirah. Because you don't have hubba dunya, you don't have the love of the material world. If they come and they show you this material world like a plate of food, oh look, look it's so rotten, it's all filled with rotten, it's rotten, it's rotten, your desire and your taste for it begins to move. If your desire for dunya leaves, your natural attraction will be for akhirah. So the people of Iman they have a tremendous attraction for Akhirah, that's why it's called Nurul Iman. They achieved a nur within their soul that they have a tremendous love for Divinely Presence and they're more attached to their Divinely reality, their heavenly station. And as they build and build and build they reach the maqams of perfection because they're more on that side than on this side. So it's, it's beneficial to our faith to believe it, not to question it and not to say, no, no it's 500 years away. What would be the purpose of a scholar come and tell people, it's 500 years away, go to the mall? You increase people's iman with what kind of a, a ideology is that? Why was Prophet telling the companions, Dajjal is right around the corner, they were frightened. They thought at any moment the Antichrist, the Dajjal is not Antichrist because there's nothing to do with Christ. The Dajjal is within the Islamic system, within the whole world. It's the anti-real and everything of an illusion that they believed and they lived their life according. But now when we believe and our teachings are coming that these dimensions are very close. Look at the signs. Whatever Prophet described of difficulty and azab, he described the, the, the punishments of hellfire with scorpions, with snakes, with spiders. And then we said before, then look onto the dunya and you see people even drawing scorpions, snakes and spiders. Why? Is that because that dimension already has that all over them? They feel inspired. Who feels in their right mind inspired to sit down and say, this skin of mine make something permanently horrific? What? I would like a big snake wrapped all around my arm, I want a spider on my face, I want a scorpion on my neck. This is… you think this is from your soul's inspiration? No, means this now is a big sign that that dimension has influenced them so much that they be dressed by it, they begin to resemble their reality. And that's why you see also holy people that the light from that reality dressing them so much because their soul's reality is dressing their physicality and they sit in majlis of zikrs and they feel the energy of it because now the barzakh is dressing and these veils are opening. So then imagine when they describe that they're going to do something to open a door. When they open a door to these realities 
imagine out of a hundred percent, ninety-nine percent of the people their barzakh reality is demonic. What happens to these people when the shaitans fully dress them, fully overtake them, fully make them to do whatever they want to do? And this had happened one time in the time of Sayyidina Sulaiman when Allah lifted that veil and the shayateen entered. All of the malignant, all of the naughty beings came and occupied people. They took them like it was a car and did what they wanted to do. Means for us when we're seeing all these alamats and all these signs, these are signs of tremendous difficulty. And the importance of majlis of zikr, majlis of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is to build iman, to build light, to build the protection that, Ya Rabbi by these zikrs and by these association and by keeping the company of the people of light because we don't know what's coming. So you don't know why Allah inspired you to sit here today, why Allah inspired me to be here, why couldn't I just go to a movie theater because this is God's rahmah that you don't see the fire that coming. But when He loves you, go sit and get dressed by that light, blessed by that light. So when the fire opens you find yourself at least prepared. What rahmah would have been if all of a sudden the fire came and you were obliterated in difficulties? Means God's rahmah that you just be inspired, go sit with them, go build your light, go build your faith. Go build the, the, the faculties of belief, the more you believe, the more you believe, what's the worst that could happen by this advice tonight? You'll have more faith. If all of it didn't happen, it doesn't matter. If you believe it's going to happen, your material desire drops and your iman grows. And you don't need the whole world to come to an end to be close to Allah but you need your desires to end because the desire is like an iron sheet that blocks us from the love of Allah blocks us from the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And the desire become too strong, the choices become incorrect. When the desire drops the choices always become correct. These feet, if the, if the iron wall is too thick the feet take you dancing. When the wall is very thin and your love for Allah immense, the love for Sayyidina Muhammad immense, you can't live without praising upon Allah because you're taking that energy and that feeling. Then these feet they take you to the majlis of zikrs. So it has a benefit and has a tremendous reality. And if they say what they say is correct, then you'll be even more protected with the lights of faith, the light of iman. Because if these dimensions open and your reality is a holy reality, your reality is from the souls that make zikr of Allah Imagine when we say, Ya Rijalullah, when we're calling upon Rijalullah, imagine what type of lights will be coming for those who believed, what type of souls and arwah will be coming. For those who believe, these practices are not for this material world. These recitations upon calling upon awliya, calling upon and praising upon Sayyidina Muhammad when you have blue skies in McDonald's you don't appreciate it. But one azab, one difficulty come or horrific events begin to come and we begin to understand these praisings and the power of these praisings. All over the world people in difficulty, the Ahlul Zikr, if you ask them about their lives and what miracles they have seen, how they've been protected from these difficulties, how they've been protected from unimaginable difficulties that have been coming from every direction. But the people of Ahlul Zikr and the people who love Sayyidina Muhammad their lives are miraculous. So we pray that Allah dress us from these blessings, dress us from these lights and for ourselves to wake up. The Hizb shaitan they are very active, very aggressive and constantly moving in what they believe. Ahlul Iman, they're Latif, they're taking a nap right now. 
We pray that Allah open our hearts, open our lights, open our eyes to see these difficulties that are coming to protect ourselves, protect our families, protect our communities and protect our loved ones. Only protection is through zikrullah and love of Sayyidina Muhammad SubhanAllah rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.